This is Scotty with the Black Talk Media Project. Um, this is a update for the But Broadcasting tool that you use for broadcasting online digital radio. Uh, they have updated it since my last video. The new version is is But, um, as you can see here, But 0 0.1. Well, that may not be the new one. Uh, it might have been a later update, but it pretty much looks the same. Let me go ahead and open up But. Um, yeah, it's the same. Yeah, so this is the latest. Uh, but um, I'm just going to go through the settings and show you how to uh, do the settings. Now, um, as you can see, it is picking up my voice. Um, also, let me go ahead and this is something you want to do to check whatever you're using to share audio um, over the uh, air waves you have to also make sure it's picking up the audio off of your computer if it's configured correctly uh, according to the tutorials that I uh, made for configuring external sound cards to mix audio so anyway I'm just gonna play a song right quick and we should see that um, it shows up here in the audio meter The views and opinions expressed by hosts, invited speakers, and callers do not necessarily reflect the views and opinions of the Black Talk Media Project or the Black Talk Radio Network. So as you could see um, in the audio, audio meter, it was sometimes getting up in the red. And so you could just go down on the volume of the source of the audio uh, that you're using, whether it's a YouTube video or any kind of audio online, or if you're using uh, some piece of software to share audio files. So you don't want it to go up in the red. Again, you could use the volume controls to take it down. But this one also um, kind of limits the audio input. Of but because if it's all up in the red all the time, that's going to sound distorted. It's going to be really um, loud cracking sound. So you could also use this um, volume meter here to uh, also can control uh, your audio to make sure you know it doesn't get all all the way up in the red a lot. All right, so I guess this is a good place for mine. All right, so it'll remember it. So let's go through the settings. All right, it's going to automatically detect your settings uh, for your audio device. That's just simply what microphone uh, card is pulling off of. I, if I'm, I'm on a Windows computer, obviously, so um, if I open up the uh, sound cards and close this right quick, you can see I have my microphone um, on board mic as my primary um, and my only device that I'm using you know for um to route audio to the sh to the uh player okay so um let's go through the settings right quick go ahead and close that so in the settings the first is going to be the main window that's where you choose the audio device as it says what card is it going to pull off of well that's the only card i got enabled so of course it's going to choose uh, that default default microphone device now the server that's where you're going to add your server information so you would click on add to put in a new one you type in the name we're using shoutcast v1 so you uh, choose shoutcast then you put in your IP address goes here uh, that's going to be like the numbers that have dots in between them so the IP address goes there the port number goes there your source password again this is if you're using shoutcast v1 and centova to manage it uh, that source password would go there all right so we'll go ahead and hit cancel and you can also uh, add more servers um, if you wanted to uh, that's how you would edit one so I'm gonna go ahead and open that so as you can see it's, it's set up the same way alright so uh, stream info uh, if I wanted to uh, add one I just click here 
you just put in the name um, of your station, a short description. You can put something like news, talk, radio, whatever. Uh, new black media for the new millennium is our tagline. So we might put something like that in there. The genre, talk, radio. Uh, you can put your URL, the website. And uh, let me go ahead and just hit cancel. I wouldn't too much worry about the uh, RIC or the AIM or the ICQ. Those are like um, what you would call uh, instant messengers. We don't need that. All right. You would click make server public so that it's a public server. The name it obviously means anybody could tune in as long as they had a, a link to the media player or whatnot. All right. So. I'm going to go ahead and hit, hit cancel. Let me edit. What did I put in here? News, politics, and more talk. Uh, put in the address, web address, blacktalkradionetwork.com. Uh-oh, I didn't mean to copy that over there. Go ahead and close that out. And I got made server public. All right, save. All right, so after any time you do something, you want to come back to the main and hit save settings. Now, connect at startup just simply means that as soon as I open up, but it's going to start trying to connect to the server. I usually just do it manually by uh, clicking this button here, and it will show up here. This will light up the yellow to show that I'm broadcasting. You will see it counting down the time and whatnot. Uh, the stop button, that square, white square, that's to stop the stream. And uh, this is to record. This is to record the podcast. And so um, I typically uh, manually record. You, I will show you how to set it up to automatically record once you go on air. But I started, you know, I, I just start the stream. Then when I'm ready to go on air, I'll just um, or start the program. I'll hit record for my podcast. Now you go to stream. Uh, you choose the bit rate that you want to stream at. I, I choose 64 kilobytes. That's CD quality. Uh, you can go as high as 128 kilobytes if you're on one of our um, uh, stations. Uh, you leased a stream from us. Of course, you want uh, the megahertz rate. I choose 44100. That's pretty standard uh, for a podcast. All right, channel, stereo, obviously you want it to be in stereo. Your codec is MP3. You want to choose MP3 so you can say MP3 files. Uh, update song from file. Uh, I'm still trying to figure this out. It ain't working properly for me. So um, I actually want to just delete all this out, see if I can do that. But it, allegedly, you're supposed to be able to update um, the XML information for the song, the metadata. So that's what that's about. Update song manually. Like when I go on air with my talk radio program, I always put, since I have several programs on the station, whatever station is live, I'll put the name, or excuse me, program this live. I'll put the program name, so I will put Black Talk Radio News. live and then I'll put whatever the date is 1 slash 15 slash 2016 then I will hit OK now remember I said always go and hit save settings when you do something change something so OK that looks good record <clears throat> um, you can leave that alone the file name that's just uh, going to tell it to uh, give the month the date and the year uh, for the mp3 uh, save to uh, that's just simply choosing a fo folder where you want to set your podcast to be saved on your computer now you could choose to break up a program let's say you got a three hour program and you want to break it up into one hour files so you could say split the file every 60 minutes that'll be every hour you'll have a, a, a file or mp3 made for you know all three of those hours so you can choose to split it uh, you could click choose to click here to start recording when connected and so as you can see now this has lit up here if I was to press uh, record to just record a podcast offline or if I'm online doing a stream live stream I still want to record it um, 
this just simply tells you the recording is on but if, when I hit uh, start recording when connected uh, that means that I don't have to take that extra step to press uh, the red button to record I just hit play once I'm connected to the server it's starting to record this is for the bit rate for the podcast um, Again, I always choose 64 kilobytes, 44, 100 hertz. Uh, some people use like a free platform to store their podcast and distribute their podcast like like a talk shoe. And it has to be formatted. The MP3 has to be formatted to be compatible with the way they um, set up their system. And so 64 kilobytes bit rate, 44, 100 hertz. Um, sample rate it is uh good you know and it'll also save a smaller file than if you say the podcast at let's say 128 kilobytes it's going to be a larger file if you're using uh our podcasting service where you can upload podcasts on our network uh we ask that you, your podcast be at 64 41 hundreds uh because there is a limit to how a large individual file can be i believe i got it set at 60 um, 60 megabytes and whatnot. Um, if I record at 64 kilobytes, 44, 100, um, 200, um, excuse me, a two hour program would be about a 55 megabyte, uh, file. And so you'll be good to upload it. Um, if, if not, you may need a converter to convert it, um, the MP3 file to 64, 4100 hertz so that you got a smaller file so it can be uploaded to our uh, platform. All right, you do want it to be in stereo, the podcast that is, and the codec again is MP3. That's what you're saving a podcast in, an MP3 file. Um, I said uh, something about start recording when connected. Uh, let me see. No, what I was talking about was the bit rate. See, you could also stream at, let's say, 128 kilobytes, but then uh, say the podcast is 64. So that's cool that you can do that, but I want to stay at 64. Okay, uh, what else? Uh, the GUI. All this is is um, the uh, user interface, and all that is is if I want to attach. Uh, me to but window that means this right here I could detach it but I always keep it to t uh, attached to the main window and I can all click stay always on top that means no matter what I do as you can see I can click on different pages and whatnot but it's gonna stay on pop top and I can like um, minimize it if I need to get it out the way so if you don't want it to always stay on top um, of course, you can minimize it to your taskbar and then uh, open it back up, you know, as needed. So, but I always choose to keep it on top. And if I need to close it, I manually close it or minimize it. All right. So, um, I can't think of anything else. If you have any questions, uh, please feel free to uh, ask those questions in the comment section. Thank you.